it's really, really hard to build a consumer facing product right now because AI is changing so fast. But I want to tell you about one that I think is an excellent case study and how you can do it successfully. We're going to talk about jobright.ai today. It's a job search tool. And the reason I'm calling it out is because we have had other AI tools in the past, in the last year or so, that are aimed at exactly the same demographic that Jobrite targets. So, for example, Teal. Teal is a resume builder. Teal is focused on the part of your job search where you have to modify, edit, update your resume. They're zeroed in on keyword fits. They're zeroed in on matching you to the job description. They absolutely have added value, at least anecdotally, with folks I've talked to. Jobrite goes a step farther. And I think one of the things I want to call out is that Jobrite is much, much better, much more native at positioning what AI can do in a job search than other AI tools that I've seen in the space. So one of the things I've talked about in the past is that if you jump over an industry, if you're not in job search, if you're in social and you're talking about dating apps, AI companions are huge. They're one of the first places to monetize. Jobrite has taken the idea of an AI companion and they've pulled it into the heart of the job search. That's a really creative insight. It ties into a directly monetizable uh, product offering that's been successful in other categories. And they've put it right at the heart of the job search experience. And that's not all. They have made it largely free, not entirely free, but largely free. So if you are searching in volume, you are going to run into their paywall because you are going to use their AI credits fast enough that you will need to pay to unlock. But for people who are just trying it out, who want to understand, who want to have a conversation, who want to see where they're at in the job market, Jobrite has made sure that it's entirely free to use. And I think that's really good positioning on their part because people who are looking for a role tend to be pretty price sensitive. And so if you can give them something that gives them value, they are going to be super happy with it. Now, it's not perfect. So, for example, I was playing with it. And one of the things I noticed for product management roles is that it doesn't yet know that banking jobs severely inflate titles. And so it was calling out, for instance, vice president of product management at J.P. Morgan Chase or vice president of product management at Bank of America. And I know, and everyone who works in product knows that that's about the role of a senior product manager. But because Jobrite was trained on a wider array of job titles and it wasn't sort of specialized in particular industries necessarily, it didn't pick up on that. So are there things to work through? Yes. Do I think that's an interesting case study in going fast regardless? I do. Because if you have something that's a companion, if you have something that is going to let you chat with an AI bot that understands you, you've uploaded your resume, you've given it your LinkedIn, but also the job market and can put the two together for you that can find LinkedIn connections for you that would help you as you go along your way and apply to roles. That's good enough, right? Like, and they launched with that in mind and they were very successful. I think they were number one on Product Hunt recently. So they don't need this, right? Like this is not a plug for them or anything. I'm just you calling them out as a case study in how to think strategically about building AI and consumer applications. They pulled in that companion side and they talk about how to job search in a way that feels intuitive. And so they put you right into the flow that you look at the way your job title maps onto open roles right now. They're keeping you off of LinkedIn. It's in their interface. And they talk about how your role may or may not match with your exact resume and how to change it in a, I think the most supportive way I've seen. So many times it's like, these are the skills that are missing and you don't know how to fix it. But they have figured out a way to essentially call out the positiveness of the FIT score. So they have 80%, 90% FITs, whatever. And then if you choose to get interested in the role, they encourage you to edit the resume and then supply you an immediate edit to the resume that fixes the issues and shows what they changed and you can check. And I did play with it and I could see that it was not just making stuff up. So this is not a situation where they just used an LLM and they, you know, made things up and, and they're writing fiction into your resume that you're going to get in trouble for. They just seem to be reframing the resume and adding in more relevant keywords. Uh, and I think that that's something that's going to help a lot of 
folks who are looking to figure out how to more accurately fit job descriptions, because like it or not, getting that job description fit really does matter and getting a clear resume would help 80 or 90% of applicants. There's one thing that they don't have. The thing they don't have is a solution to the arms race that we're in right now. And I don't expect them to, but when you have something like job, right, what you need is an ability to actually connect with people and be referred into a role. And I think that they are bringing the arms race mentality that we've seen dominate the cold apply pipeline into networking a little bit because they're calling out these LinkedIn connections for the first time that might not be visible to people otherwise. And at least not very easily, right? Like you can dig for it, but, but fewer people are going to do that. And when you do that and you start to scale, you're going to see more and more LinkedIn DMs come in. And so the, the demand side of the job market just continues to find innovations that essentially scale up the volume facing recruiters, the volume facing hiring managers in the job search process. Whenever, not just me hiring, but whenever anyone in my company is hiring, my LinkedIn DMs get full because people find me and they start to DM me, I think that's going to get worse. And the problem is because the demand side is so strong and because AI tools like JobRite are helping people to do a better job, which is good for you individually, they're creating a marketplace that is really tough for all of us collectively because we are all going to look like we are as strong as we possibly can be. We are all going to be exactly customized and fitted. Some of the things that used to be markers of individual effort are disappearing. Like the, the cold LinkedIn DM used to be a marker of individual effort. In six months, it won't be anymore. Customizing your resume used to be a marker of individual effort. In six months, it won't be anymore. In fact, it probably isn't now. So what helps you to distinguish yourself? And I think what we're going to see is we're going to see more emphasis from employers on case studies on work that you do during the process. And I think that we are still short of tooling that employers can use to more adequately assess the candidates that they get in. Because right now, given the volume and given the very consistent quality that you're getting from candidates, at least on the surface, it's really, really hard to differentiate and find people who are actually going to be a good fit for your particular role. We still don't have that idea of communicating more precisely within a role what you need in a way that you can call out really clearly and only get applicants that are truly a fit for the skill sets or sort of the sub skill sets within a job title that fit. Like, for example, in product management, maybe you are only tolerating someone with very specific previous platform PM experience. We don't really have a good frame in the market to match those skills. But that's effectively what employers are trying to do when they're looking through piles of AI generated resumes and applications and DMs today. So to wrap all of this up, I think JobRite is an excellent example of an individual app that has been created that puts AI right at the heart of job search. I think they've done a lot of things right. And I think that they are part of a larger motion that is putting enormous strain on the job market as a whole. And that makes things really, really challenging for all of us together, even if individually, the job right tool is absolutely brilliant. And that's not just me saying that. I've had people tell me this is incredible. I have found roles that I wouldn't find otherwise, et cetera. So if you as an individual want to use it, it seems like it's working pretty well for all of us together. It's a tough world out there and we need to figure out how to more effectively match talent. But that's a larger conversation.